sand fleas over there. Sand fleas! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> smoke this jack that'll be interesting oh that is a perfect hook huh on the pompano rig with a live sand flea what was that picture perfect uh hook job. oops almost hooked it again Frozen, but he'll sink quicker. Yeah, a frozen popsicle tree. Alex is chasing some tarpon. There was just a monster hit. It almost kind of looked like it cut the line. There's still a weight on there? Oh, dude, no. Look, that was that tarpon out there. There's a tarpon. Yeah, cut the line. Broke the line. That tarpon that just jumped way out there, you can see that? Oh man. Oh, we lost the whole rig. Yep. Jeez. Oh, God. Yeah. Dude, what did I say? A big ladyfish would eat that. Yeah, right. Or a big uh, tarpon would eat that. That was just straight from pure stress. I don't know if you can see it, but it like comes to almost a perfect needle point. Yeah. We just yeah. stressed it out. Awesome. Well, hey, we just had a huge tarpon on. He ate a ladyfish, dude, look, he, 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 he heavier leader. Is that the one that was jumping leader? Yeah, that one that you saw through the Yeah, that was it. He was hooked. Oh. Yeah. Tyler's on. Another jack, I believe. Oh, no! It got off. It got off. <laughs> that sucked. Yeah. Another one on. Good size too. I knew it was pulling a little harder, but wow, look at that. That's a cutie. It's been a while since I've gone fishing. <laughs> Man, that's a beautiful, Woo! good looking fish. Oh, my camera's covered in sand. Oh no. <laughs>
how it came off. Hey puppy! Watch out for the hooks, buddy. Pompano. Bleeding them out. The struggles, man. <laughs> the struggles are Hey, real. if I have one really great fishing tip that all fishermen can take away from, don't put your lures in your backpack unless they're in some type of protective case. <laughs> <laughs> and when you see fish hitting top water and you go to switch quickly, just take the time to put it in a box. <laughs> or else you wind up with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's right. a... Uh, what do we got rigged up here, Tyler? This is a very impromptu shark rig. Um, we didn't unfortunately have the right leader, so we braided some uh, smaller wire. It's a 40 pound wire. Yep, 44, and then uh, we got a live jack, a couple slits in there to get the scents out. We're gonna cast it real close, hoping for a nurse shark. Well, when we were fishing with the girls the other day, Elizabeth told me that Jack Crevel tastes great smoked. So we're gonna smoke that up. We're gonna cook that pompano with some lemon pepper and butter. And now we're going to see if we can catch a shark right here off the beach. Is it on still? I don't know. It might not be yeah, set. Dude, I'm going to let him eat it. I'm going to let him eat it. I'm yeah, gonna... I was going to say. I'm going to let him do it. Is he taking line out? Yeah. All right. He's, he's hooked, I think. Oh, oh watch out on you. <laughs> almost, almost hit the bird. Yeah, look, look at it that. Is. It's a little nurse shark, I think. Good thing we still have a couple frozen baits. He might not even be on. No, he's off. Aw, uh, what? Yeah, he's off. Wait. <laughs> oh, I see it jumping out there. Dude, it's taking the line. Oh, he's off. No. Oh, did he break it? I don't know. Pop. Yeah, look. He, he kept our mono. So we're gonna break oh, right at the moment. Right there. Nice clean cut. Alright, this time we're gonna give the Mahara a try. Yep. Defend them. Let's see what we got. Was that a hit just there? Oh! Nice easy, nice easy. Yeah! I guess I'll just let it go. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Looser, looser, a little bit looser. You're good. No, you're good. <laughs> broke off. That looks like it broke off. Oh, yeah, it might have. The braid broke. Braid broke. Oh, yeah. we're out of bait. We're out of bait. We're out kind of out of rigs. Out of rigs. Well, I'm ready to cook some pompano. Yeah, better luck next time, I guess. Yeah, we gotta come out here with heavier gear. So we caught a nice pompano but we had to cut the head off because we use it for shark bait but we're gonna fillet him up and eat him but in this video we're just going to smoke the man of the hour our little jack here we're gonna be smoking him tomorrow morning actually we're gonna brine him tomorrow and then we're gonna smoke him the next day tonight we're just gonna fillet him and then I'm gonna get back to work but He's not very big, so don't worry. I'm also filling the smoker with a bunch of mahi. I'll just cut them up. I am not used to using such a sharp knife, I will say that. I've been living in the dark my whole life. This is like day and night. Oh, there's 
sharp. We did bleed them pretty nicely, so I mean we bled them as much as we as you can bleed a fish. And I will be taking his skin off because I don't like smoking fish with skin on. That's just me. It's not a very big piece to smoke either. Two little jack pieces for the smoker. Yeah. That'll be a really fishy flavor if you smoke that bloodline. So I'll eat the bloodline, but some people prefer not to. So I just Cut as much of it out as I can. Almost got all of it on that one. There we go. Bloodline. All right. Well, um, we're going to brine the shrimp. Brine the fish, I mean, not shrimp. Um, so it's ready for smoking. And what we're going to do is do one part salt and one part sugar. So let's mix our sugars in this little bowl right here. I'm going to do four cups of salt, two cups of brown sugar, and two cups of white sugar. Four cups of salt, two cups of white sugar, and two cups of brown sugar. Then you're going to want to mix that up real nice up in here. Okay, what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of brown sugar in this uh, bowl. Kind of cover the bottom with it. And then we're gonna take our jack, the fish of the hour. This is probably gonna be the fish of the month, if anything, except for that pompano we cooked the other day. And we're gonna drop it right in there both pieces, oh. just like that, and then we're going to just cover it with some more brown sugar, salt, and white sugar, and what this is going to do is the salt is going to pull the, the moisture, the water, out of the fish, and it's going to I think like bring the proteins to the surface of the fish. So then when you smoke it, the smoke sticks to that sticky, sugary coating that, that's gonna happen. You'll see how this looks in the morning. It's gonna turn into like a water bath in here. All we're gonna do is cover that up and put it in the fridge overnight. So probably 12 to 16 hours, we'll put that in the fridge, but we're not gonna fire up the smoker for just some yellow, some jack. No, no, no. We got a whole pile of mai right here. This is some mai that I caught in the Keys. Maybe a couple months ago I had it frozen, vacuum sealed, and I started thawing it last night. Now it's thawed and it's ready to be smoked. I mean, normally I would cook mahi in a pan, but I've never smoked mahi before, so why not give it a try? Something new, and I doubt it's gonna be not good. I think it's gonna be great. So you kinda wanna layer it into your pot. Put one layer down, cover it again with sugar and them goodies. Put the next layer on top. Look at that piece of mahi, beautiful. You know what, I'll just pour the rest of the sugar and goodies on top. There you have it. Cover it up, put it in the fridge, and tomorrow morning, it'll be ready for the smoker. Well, good morning. I got my fresh breakfast smoothie here, and I got the smoke racks laid out, and the fish has been brining for about four, 12 to 14 hours at this point. 
and you can see all that sugar pull and salt pulled all of the moisture out of the fish which creates this nice uh, sugary coat here and the fish will get like kind of stiff almost all the moisture is out it's like a nice hard piece of fish so we'll lay that down on the smoking rack you want to try to get some, most of the sugar off of it but it's okay if you leave some because it'll caramelize in the smoker and get real good I'm going to try to fit all of our food, all the fish, on just two racks if possible, instead of using all four racks. Alright, that's the mahi. But let's not forget about the jack. It's got a nice little... We'll put the two jacks right here and here. It should be easier to tell apart because it's the smallest pieces. We're not using a monster jack for this. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw in a little twist here. I'm gonna throw in some sausages, some hot Italian sausages. We'll throw those in the smoker too. And this nice beef brisket that I got. And all I'm gonna do with the beef brisket it's quite simple actually. I'm just going to pat this whole thing dry. I'm kind of doing this in a hurry because I want to start smoking already so we don't have to eat dinner in the middle of the night. But pat that dry. I'll put it right in here. Then we're going to put a couple little spices on it. Where is Oh yes, cayenne pepper. So I want to make like a, a very sweet rub with a hint of cayenne. So I'll start a little bit of cayenne. Then I'll add sugar or salt to it. Some of this butt rub barbecue seasoning. But the real magic happens when you put the brown sugar on it. Filled the smoke box with some apple chips. We'll close that up. Put it into our smoker here. Do you want me to like, get it on the foil? Yeah. Pull it out. Mamma mia. And we're gonna pour some, uh, some organic apple sauce on it. Just, just a little bit. How do I zoom out a little?
I think I should go. start getting 10%. <laughs> Then we just wrap this bad boy on up and put it back in the smoker. Yeah, I'm eating it. Can't help it. I want to taste. It's really good. Where's your freaking rubber? Mm. <laughs> I think, is it in that room? TV room? Mm. I think. Is it in that room? Yeah. Yeah, it's in that room. Who has a working computer right now? Mine's just. Woo! I, mean, I smoked some Jack. You did? Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Smoked Jack and. <laughs> Looks good. No, you guys can keep partying. Okay. Yeah, these are quite delightful. It's Well, in conclusion, um, I guess kind of what happened was when I took the fish out of the brine, I think I left a little too much brine on there. I left too much sugars and salts on there, so the fish came out uh, pretty salty. But other than that, the brisket came out amazing. The smoked sausage came out really good. And uh, I took the mahi, made some real good fish dip. I love fish dip. Uh, if you want to know how to make fish dip, I got another video where I make a bunch of fish dips. I didn't bother going into that, but what do I think about the jack? Well, this is what I'm going to have to say. It's kind of hard for me to know because I put way too much salt or it just tasted way too salty because I should have just washed them. I should have washed the brine off of them. Uh, I won't make that mistake again, but I did eat it. I ate a whole piece of it. I thought it tasted a little more fishy than the mahi, but it was just kind of hard to tell. It was edible though, so I think next time I catch a jack, I had three people tell me that smoked jack is good, so next time I catch one, I'll try smoking it again, and I'll try to uh, do it better next time and not... Uh, get myself into a briny situation. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll be doing more Catch and Cooks coming up soon. And uh, cheers, everybody.